You normally go into a restaurant and you see the staff that's all dressed in one uniform and the management dressed in another. I don't know why they necessarily do that. But I can give you a learning experience from it. The learning experience is have the management person, including if that's you or your shift managers, your assistant managers, your general managers, have them go a week without the manager uniform, with the exact same uniform as the crew. And then you go in, if you're an executive of a restaurant, restaurant company, or if you're the owner of a restaurant, or for that matter, if you're a manager looking at your shift managers and assistant managers, and see if you can tell the difference between the managers and the crew. In a lot of instances, you can't, except for the fact that the manager, in a lot of times, isn't doing anything. But if you do this, what it will help you do, and, it, and it's not bad, especially if you have customers that you know well, ask them, who's in charge? Who do you think's in charge? They're all dressed the same. Who's in charge? Because here's the issue. I should be able to walk into a restaurant. I should be able to look at what's going on, and I should be able to tell who's in charge, even when they're all wearing the same uniform. I can, I'll come back to a Michael Jordan analogy, which I love Michael Jordan. They all wore the same uniform. Michael Jordan wore the same uniform as everybody else on the team. But there was no doubt who was in charge. I didn't really have to see who was making the baskets. I could have just watched them run up and down the floor. I could tell who was in charge. Because he'd walk up to the other members of his team before the coaches got to them. And he would say, and you would see him, and he'd and then he'd give them positive reinforcement, he'd build them up, he'd give them corrective feedback, he'd break them down, he'd build them up, he'd challenge them, he'd get them excited. He's wearing the same uniform as everybody else. And here's the point. You can't be afraid to take charge, because if you don't, someone else will. So if you're the boss and you're not taking charge, what will happen is they will perform at the lowest level of what they're being asked to perform. They literally will perform based on whoever else took charge. You have to take charge. And it's a great training tool to say, you know what, I'm going to try this for a few days or a week. I'm going to see if my leadership, my management, my staff gets better because I have to take charge on the court. I don't have to wear a shirt and tie to do that. I don't have to wear a management uniform or a name tag that says manager. <laughs>